Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 on the last episode. Well if you look behind Irene over there by the top left, that ship showed up and that is the inspection team with um, Marcus's dad, Elise's dad, I mean <laughs> Elise's mom, they're the same person. Um, <laughs> Princess Alvin, Prince Oliver, no. and Elise. Huh. On top of that, um, we fought a cryptid. Psst, psst, magic Knights. No shebang, really. So now, there's supposed to be a second cryptid that we're supposed to be investigating. So we're going to go out about that now. Hospital City Station. I guess they wanted us to go there first into the city. I guess I didn't want to find the general marketplace kind of thing. Um, ah. The Pentacle. We saw it from the highway. <laughs> Feels like it's up there looking down on us. I suppose it's just going to stray there for the duration of the inspection. It's most likely too big to accommodate for the airport to accommodate. I heard that the airport lanes are to be expected are to be expanded to 250 R throughout the empire. Huh? Does that mean they must be planning to use more airships of that size, or maybe airship carriers is a better term? Anyway. Let's check the city as we head to the East Road. Understood. Let's go, you know. Alright. Did I say too much? Well, we can't really avoid it. The annexation really has brought a number of problems into relief. Central Square. The screen cars are being withdrawn. They remind me of when the annexation was announced. Though the faces back then made me much more nervous. The last time I saw Princess Alfin was the medal ceremony of the Northern War. She's become even more beautiful. Looks like Prince Oliver is doing well too. And it's been four months. I heard she became the student council president. She's all grown up. I didn't think she would be coming with them though. What's wrong, you two? Ah. Oh, uh. Sorry, that broadcast. It felt really strange to not see my brother there. Huh. Prince Oliver's personal aide is Lieutenant Colonel Lavander, right? <laughs> yes. I'm so used to seeing him as seeing my brother at his side as a side. But ever since last autumn. Kurt, I don't know what's going on. But uh it only just caught my attention. Speaker McDwell wasn't there to greet the inspection team. Ah. Crossville's most famous politician. He used to be the mayor. He's currently working for the governor general. He's in charge of running the state legislature. Stater. Yeah, it wouldn't be unexpected to see him here as one of the local representatives. I'm just worried that something might, that he might have gotten sick or something. That's a good point. Both of you just focus on our missions for now. We beat the first cryptid thanks to Sharon's help, but if we encounter another one, we'll need to handle it on our own. If we aren't careful, it could kill us. Um, good point. I'll focus on here and now. Yeah, we can worry about the other stuff later. 
Let's get this done quick so we can have some free time afterwards. Yeah, that's the spirit. Show me what you two show me what you've learned over the last two months. <laughs> You're the one who needs to be careful. We weren't the ones standing around with our eyes glazed over, chuckling to ourselves. Hmm. I suppose he did seem a bit preoccupied earlier. I'm guessing he was thinking about Elisa. Uh, well. No, my guess it was the two girls who were on screen. Princess Alphen and the dark-haired girl who was with her. After all, that dark-haired girl is the person Instructor Irene cherishes the most. Cherishes the most? That dark-haired girl. I've occasionally seen her with her highness before. <clears throat> well, she is my little sister. Sister? Through adoption. Adoption? <laughs> it, is it that shocking? Anyway, my sister's friends with her highness, so naturally I'm acquainted with her as well. It's been a while, so I was glad to see them again. I remember you being more than acquainted with her. During the Civil War, you rescued her from the Panther Rule and held her tenderly in your arms. Held <laughs> her! Oh, and by the way, Instructor Reen wronged me twice. To be specific, he must be asleep. And he made me. Wait, what? Atila, <laughs> stop. Don't say it like that. They'll get the wrong idea. Well, it's true, so what's the problem? Anyway, once we check everything here, let's head to the East Highway. Yeah, ideally, we students would like to handle everything on our own. Altina, are you okay with that? I have no objections. Um, guys. Hurry, Ali. Hurry up or he's gonna do stuff to you again. I thought I'd be guarding Prince Cedric, but perhaps I should have been guarding Princess Alvin from a certain individual. <laughs> mm. Um, hey guys, I think you... What? Never mind. <laughs> After that, Reen was able to clear up the misunderstanding. Altina admitted she'd been a bit misled. <laughs> I was still laughing. Hold on. After that, Reen was able to clear up the misunderstanding. Altina admitted she'd been a bit misleading. From there, they planned to resume their special ops missions in the afternoon. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. God damn it. <laughs> it's supposed to be the East Highway. This girl. Hey, do you know Arc El Silly? A theater group of mine in the entertainment district. My best friend Rixia works there. Oh, you're a friend of Rixia's? How oh, do you know Rixia personally too? <laughs> what a coincidence. Rixia Mao, one of the lead performers in Arc of Silly. I see, then she must be famous. Yep, I came in to contact her on the mission with the Irene. Yeah, that's why I was surprised with the name. Let's keep quiet about that part. Oh, by the way, Rixia's favorite foods are Maple tofu and almond tofu. You should try them for yourselves if you ever get the chance. <laughs> I see. Ark is the top performer. Rixi Mao's favorite dish. This might be something Monk would like to know. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> uh oh. -uh. I showed that picture for Vivi. No. Oh, wow. I thought about avoiding that little thing. We received the information by the cryptic here. We can leave you the East Highway. Yes, let's go. That's why I came all the way over here.
All right, let's get going. The cryptid was spotted in the swamp off the highway. I have additional information from Chief Plato. Randy said there was a cryptid nearby that looked like some kind of carnivorous plant thing. I doubt it's the same one. Remember the lake? Yeah, but we should still keep on our toes. We'll be proceeding straight down the road. Shouldn't take too long on bike, thankfully. Sounds good. Let's wrap this up before the end of the day. <laughs> we ought to survey the area in general once we're done, too. <clears throat> Shall we be going? <laughs> Tina did that on purpose. <laughs> she did that on purpose. I'm gonna guess that's a picture spot. Orcus Tower looks massive, even from here. The Rhineford building looks enormous, too. I'm pretty sure it retained all 16 floors that the IBC had. That makes it smaller than its headquarters, but it's still nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I thought so. So no. Let me just oh, oh. fast forward through it. So we got two of those taken care of. I hate when they do that. You know, if you do that one more time, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm not even kidding. If you do that one more time, I'm just gonna slaughter you. Because I wait for them to turn around before I start moving. It doesn't have the line yet. I wanna engage both of them at the same time, but they're not moving in sync anymore. My turn. There. There. Too slow. <clears throat> I keep coming. Yeah, that's kind of very well. Plan. Uh, strike. Eight down. I'll assist. It's my turn. I shall go. I feel bad for that one, honestly. Because he Let's just go. got the worst in of the stick in that case. Ha! Here, have a rock. I'm up! My turn. Well, yeah. we have our attack. Battle complete. Let's continue. Treasure located. Chrono Drive R. 
which not bad. Sick. The thing about the act of my original class Let's seven, get going. they Go had down. a person for each element. The weird thing was uh was Laura and Green though. Sure, Laura was fire. Laura was fire. Um Elliot had water. My turn. Let's get going. Time to ride. Very well. Here I go. Let's go. Let's get going. Time to ride. Um, Machias was Earth. She was space. Um, Emma was Mirage. Gaius was Wind. Ellie was Water. Let's get going. Um, Time Lisa to ride. was Light, which was, um, whatever that thing was called. Ah, I see. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to move, but it's like this tree. I know I'm not really meant to be down here on the bike. Sick. We Wide open. Get back! It's down! It's mine! It's my turn! <laughs> Wide open! An oh, opening! Green is even that CP back. Very well. Or at least a fair amount of it. Hmm. I'm asleep. I'm gonna let you nap. There! I'll assist. Now. Let's go! That All right. was not his day. Yeah. My turn. Yeah. Like he did not ask for this. Is that he all? He did not wake up expecting this. <laughs> he just got destroyed. I found some treasure. Dark pendulum. I still need to make another like evergreen. My turn. Let's go. Keep it's my turn. Let's go. Let's get going. Time to ride. I'm really just using this to avoid battles because they target you less when you're on the bike. Uh, it's a fishing spot, so I don't care too much. Is that a collapsed ruin? Yeah, they're all over the place. There's remnants of an ancient battlefield just over the hill too. Let's get going. History is Time more to rich ride. than I realized. Oh, your materials. We have the advantage. Oh, there's an advantage here, all right. Get back. Let's go. Oh, is that what we're gonna do? This? Okay. Break through, sledgehammer. Remember, my turn. You there. still can get hit. Wide open! I don't know why you thought An opening. you couldn't. My turn. Because I'm still yeah. gonna hit you. Now it's still gonna hurt. Too slow. And you still gonna die. Very well. There! Next. I'll assist. It's my turn. I think it's safe to uh, get somewhere. back now. It's yeah. mine. All right. I Set. 
it a bit more right difficult. There. An opening! I shall go. I didn't My turn. To do that. I shall go. Why does he keep doing that? There. He's like, no. An opening! I don't want to let that happen. It's my turn. Yeah! Everyone okay? Now. Let's go. It's my turn. It's my turn. Let's get All going. All right. Uh, let's go further. Time to ride. Chest. <coughs> A fork in the road. Going left should take us to the rural village, right, Yuna? Yuna? Huh? Yeah, yeah Amorite's village. The famous for the fresh vegetables and specialty honey. That does sound tempting, but we don't have the time. The marsh is in the direction of Tagram Gate. Correct. The map also indicates that we only need to go a little further before going right. Let's move on. You know? Treasure located. She needs to pay attention. I thought we just went over the Let's get going. There's no time, time to ride. about this right now. Is it? That should be Tagram Gate, shouldn't it? Hold on, it's much bigger than that. And they seem to be doing construction on it as well. What's going on? What's that big thing where the gate used to be? Large scale destruction to, sort of, to fortify the border gate between the Empire and the Republic. Just as my information said. Allegedly, it is said to be roughly the same scale as Relia Fortress. What? It's planned to be the size of the largest fortress in the Empire? Seeing as Yuna wasn't aware of it, they must have just begun construction within the past few months. But if that's the case, it's being built at an incredibly quick pace. I wonder if it has something to do with the inspection team's visit. Seriously, what's going on? They're just coming here and doing whatever they want to my home. I'm sure this is a shock to you, but we need to prioritize our special operation missions right now. The swamp where the cryptid was spotted is further ahead on the right. Correct. The swamp should be beyond those tracks. Let's go, Yuna. Alright. I can't afford to stand here shocked. I need to stay focused. You say that and I say... Uh, I found some treasure! Going. Time to ride! Yeah, Silver chain. Let's get going. Time to ride. Worthless thing to find. This is it. Huh. It's such a peaceful place. Yeah, there's a boat out here, so anglers will use this spot sometimes. Do we have the exact location where the cryptid was sighted? Yes, according to the document, the request document, it's beyond that gate. It seems to be locked. Of course it is. I wonder if whoever owns a the boathouse there has a key. Let's go see if anyone's home. Of course we do. Um, excuse me, is anyone mm -hmm. home? Oh, hello there. 
there? Huh? Is that you, Kenneth? Well, now that I get a good look at you, there's a face I recognize. <laughs> Long time no see, Reen. Huh? Him too? Yeah, he's one of my classmates from Doors. Kenneth Blake Lord. Okay, with a last name like that, you, you didn't have a choice. <laughs> what a coincidence this is. I never expected to run into you here at Crossbell. I heard you had become an instructor. I take it these are your students. The name's Kenneth Lake Lord. Nice to meet you. N nice to meet you, too. Lake Lord, as in the famous fishing gear company? Oh, so you've heard of them. Kenneth here is the second son of the Lake Lord family. He's also a member of the Imperial Fishing Club, just like that fisher we met in Sutherland's Annabelle. Oh, right. Her. <laughs> ah, I heard about that. Yeah, I've been to run into her on your journey, huh? Maybe us anglers are just attracted. To, are just a. Maybe us anglers just attract other anglers. We're drawn together by fate. <laughs> Could be. I'm surprised you came all the way to Crossbow, though. Never would have guessed I'd meet you in a boathouse out here. <laughs> to tell the truth, this is where my brother was living for a bit while I was at the academy. I wanted to see the place myself. It's a famous spot where the members of the Imperial Fishing Club and the Fisherman's Guild had a fierce battle. Oh yeah, I think I remember the sign on the fishing place on East Street changing for a while. The world of angling is deep. So, what brings you guys to my humble abode? Did you come here to investigate too? Actually, yeah. Wait, two? Oh, do you have customers? We saw him in the city. Oh, sorry about that. Did I disturb you? <laughs> no worries. Are you headed out? Yeah, I'm going to get back to my field work. I can't stop thinking about that mysterious grass. Mysterious grass? Are you talking about that scarlet grass? How did you know? Hmm. Your uniform tells me you're from a school in the Empire. Who might you be? Pardon us for not introducing ourselves earlier. We're from Thor's Military Academy branch campus. I see. Thor's. Hmm. I don't know if they open a branch campus. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself either. Professor Lumen. My name is Lumen. I'm a visiting Lumen. professor at one of the Empire's universities. I'm sure you've all seen some fascinating things on your travels. I'd be very interested in hearing about them if you have the time. Wait, does this mean you teach at the Imperial Institute? Well, yes, I specialize in geology. Seeing how we're both instructors, I'd say that makes us colleagues. <laughs> Though I never expected to find myself saying that to the famous Ajahn Chevalier. <laughs> I'm flattered. So, you're here in Crossbell as part of your work? In a sense, I'm collecting geological distribution data while on my vacation. I've been going around the province when, before I realized it, I nearly used up all my vacation days. So I rushed over here to study my final survey point before I need to head home. He was telling me some interesting stuff about the water quality in a bunch of different spots. That's so. Well, you're certainly a field researcher through and through. Um, is the institute really that famous? It's one of the most famous institutes out there. Some even consider it the height of the Imperial Academia. There are many famous scholars and researchers there. Yeah, they're almost countless. Also. Oh, this guy. Uh, Gideon Yalagachi. Yeah, I was trying to think of what his code name was. He was slaughtered! <laughs> Gideon, the man known as G, was once a professor there. Wait, so if you're a professor at such a famous place, that must mean you're pretty famous yourself, right? No, not necessarily. I'm just a visiting professor. I find your special operations mission much more intriguing, actually. It's unusual for a military academy to do work like this. I'm surprised to hear that here you discovered a link between the grass and cryptids. Yeah, but we haven't found anything conclusive yet. You said you found that starlit grass in the back of the swamp? Yes, just this morning, when I went out for my geological survey. I'm no botanist, but it's an unusual color, and the glow certainly stuck with me. It may have something to do with the nature of the soil in the area, so I wanted to investigate more. 
so that grass is in the swamp too. Its relation with cryptids is becoming much stronger. Yeah, we should go check. As we explained, the cryptid makes this area extremely dangerous. Would it be alright with you if we carried out the rest of the investigation? If it's truly that dangerous, I suppose I have no other choice. But if you were able to collect a sample of that flower, could you bring it back to me? I might be able to get more information from a botanist friend of mine back in the capital. Well, sorry, but I think the grass may be too dangerous. It would be better if you gave up on it for the time being. <sighs> I understand. It wouldn't do for some mishap to occur while transporting it. Kenneth, please give him the key. Alright, got it. Here you go, Rain. You can use that to get to the swamp. Please be careful. Thank you, Kenneth. Is everyone ready? Of course! Let's get going. Yes, let's get going. Since you guys decided to talk so much. You guys sit down, have a nice cup of tea. Maybe a few snacks. Alright, let's go. Are you going to ask? <laughs> Why are you asking me if I want to open the lock? I Yes! Open the lock! <laughs> Alright, it's open. Let's start an investigation right away. The start of the grass was seen in the back of the swamp. Let's be on our guard. None of them all that close to leveling. Hey guys, how's it going? Shit. Open the chest. You guys are too slow. You missed me. Oh well, I... I thought there was more to the swamp than that. That was actually a really short swamp. I should have just killed those guys. <laughs> Apparently, this is the spot where Cryptid appeared two years ago. It, it definitely seems like the kind of place one would show up. The scarlet grass was spotted around here. Somewhere around here. Let's locate it first. I can see it. It's all the way from the back. Look at that! I yeah. see it. Don't let your guard down. Shit! Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to cut it. <laughs> Found it. Just the one patch, though. That means. Mm -mm. Nothing is appearing. Perhaps the grass isn't necessarily a sign that a cryptid will appear? Maybe. After all, the blue ones were all over the place when Crossbell declared its independence. It's fine if a cryptid doesn't show up now. But we should still take care of this grass. But we should still take this grass with us just in case. <laughs> I guess it simply wasn't enough. What was that? A, a boy's voice? Instructor Reen. Yeah. We're from Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. Class 7, Special Operations. Who are you? Oh my, how polite. A pleasure to meet you. I could introduce myself, but this isn't nearly enough of an audience for my grand entrance. <laughs> Where is his voice coming from? But while you're here, maybe you could put on a little show for me. Class 7, and the Ashen Chevalier. Show me the power that defeated Blue Block! What's happening? Spiritual power? The spirit veins have been activated. Everyone, watch out! Interesting. That definitely looks like the carnivorous plant. Well, it looks like a carnivorous plant, not the. It's a plant-type cryptid, like we were told, but its appearance and size are completely different. <sighs> I can't afford to take any chances here. Heed my call, Valimar. <laughs> I do want to see that trick, but let's save it for the finale, shall we? Uh, 
What? What is this? A spiritual yeah. barrier. Honestly, think Valimar can't break a spiritual barrier. Quite so. This particular barrier ah, blocks thought waves, waves from going in or there out. You go. I admit, it's not particularly strong, but it's enough to stop you from calling your Ashen Knight. So that's why I can't feel the connection with him. Fine then. I guess I can't hold back now. <sighs> Instructor Reen? It's just like before. Is he going to use his power? Spirit unification! Oh, the music. Uh -huh. Instructor? His hair! <laughs> nice! Very impressive! Now show me this ogre power of yours. All members of Class 7, prepare to intercept! We will destroy the target with everything we have! Yes, yes sir. sir! Watch out! This is a tough one! Not today! Is that how we're Don't going to do this? Thanks! Poison? It's my turn! Ah, it's just like the first time when he activated in the first game. Ooh, Fatal Crimson Slash. He's got his skills back. Arcane Gale. Oh, this was 40% of balance. But, you know what we're gonna do. But before I do that. Breakthrough! Sledgehammer! The reason. I'm up! It's simple. My blade, calm as still water. Now! Ha! Action slash! Fatal leaves! Let's go! Begin. There! I'll assist. All right! Our chance! An opening! My turn. That's... Yeah. There. Everyone! I got Leave it! Leave it to okay. me! There! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! It's down. I'll assist. All right. Wide open. An opening. Let's go. Now. It's mine. I shall go. Break through. Sledgehammer. Now. Behold. The dual blades of Vander. Now! Ha! I'll end it. Ha! Ragnar, strike! This is it! I shall go. <laughs> he did not like that very much. Hostile suppressed. Continue mission. I must train even more. Should take care of it. Instructor Reen. <coughs> Instructor Reen? 
What's the matter? He is losing control at this rate. Oh, so that's why he doesn't use it. <laughs> Ash and Chevalier? More like Ash haired Chevalier Ogre. Show me a little more. Let's see how far you can go until you break. <laughs> if I give the proper directions, I think I can guide another one here. I knew it was you. All right. Let's see what shows up this time. Stop right there. Huh? Do it, Emma. Give it everything you have. Golden, Golden Ivy. Ivy. So pretty. Get it together. We need to stabilize his powers. What is going on right now? Is this cat talking and using arts? <sighs> it's you two. Sorry, and thanks. Your timing was perfect. Shut up and focus on calming yourself down. Whoops. Someone's here to spoil my fun. But that power that broke my barrier... For a moment, I thought it was her. So she is somewhere here in Crossbell. Enforcer of the Society, please show yourself! <laughs> I think it'll be much more fun if we save that for later. But don't worry, I won't keep you waiting for too long. So please look forward to my grand entrance! Ta-ta! A flame illusion seems different from our kind of magic. Instructor Rain, uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Sorry for making you all worry. I didn't think you could stop me from calling Valimar. <sighs> Gosh, that's not what we're talking about. Please, don't be so reckless in the future. <laughs> uh, guess they must look up to you quite a bit. You saved me. Thanks for breaking that barrier. You too, Celine. Thanks for holding my power back. <laughs> oh, we didn't do all that much. But I'm glad my new spell was able to be of help. <laughs> you better be grateful. I'm just <laughs> so glad we were finally able to see each other again, Reen. Yeah, it's so great to see you again, Emma. Milstein, Milstein, our resident magic nuke. <laughs> After that, Rain and the others headed back to the boathouse with Emma. When they arrived, Kenneth graciously allowed them to arrest their battered bodies in his room. So you're seriously a witch? Yes. To be exact, I'm a member of the Hexen clan. This is Celine. She's... Like a member of my family. You may as well just go out and say it. I'm a familiar. Anyway, nice to meet you. There's no need for us to get all chummy, though. Uh, what in the world was the old class 7? Honestly, I'm wondering the same. <laughs> but is it okay for you to tell them you're a witch? Well, the Black Rabbit there already knew. <laughs> I thought it was only fair the rest of you knew too. I figured I shouldn't hide from fellow Class 7 students. They need to know there is a backside to the world, and that sometimes trouble on the surface can be traced back there. Wow. Cryptids, magic knights, even that grass. The appearance of the Infernal Ca Castle in the capital, and the Xertrian Crossbell. Yeah, the society is back on this from this side too. Though they're completely different from people like Emma. Oh yeah, like that kid from earlier. He appeared to be a child. Is he truly part of the society? Yes, I believe so. He's most likely one of their enforcers, a pretty famous one in, in the society at that. 
I see. Seems like they were manipulating spirit veins underground. In that case, does that mean we're going they were going to make the cryptids and the magic knights appear? That is a possibility. I have no idea why magic knights and cryptids from the Empire are appearing here now. I'd rather not imagine it, but it's possible my sister is involved. The Azure Abyss. We've heard she may be in Crossbell. Since she's in Anguis, is she one of is she the one giving orders to the enforcers? Hmm, that's possible, we'll give them what a wicked, wicked woman, she, woman she is. But after chasing her for the last six months, something feels off about that. Oh, really? Yes, we don't have any proof yet, but we've sensed something is a little strange with her actions. Kurt, are you keeping up with this? Not one bit, but I think it's important we try to grasp the situation as much as possible. It's 4pm now, so we're done with today's activities. Good job, you three. The, oh, right! We completed our investigation of the cryptids on behalf of the Governor General. We just need to return to camp now. Yep. Let's take the bikes to Crossbell City first. Hey, Marceline, you're coming too, right? Yes, provided you have room on your bikes. Let's get going then. Oh, are you all leaving already? Yeah, thanks for taking such good care of it. Wait. Where's Professor Lugman? Oh, he left just now. Said it was about time for his bus to arrive. He told me to tell you sorry for not being able to say goodbye, and that he's sure he'll meet you again some somewhere. Is that so? I guess professors like him must keep a pretty packed schedule. It's a shame I wasn't able to meet him. Well, we'll run into him again if it's meant to be. Oh yeah, before you go, Celine, I thought you might like this. Hmm. <laughs> it, it's huge! Did you catch this while we were talking? <laughs> I thought I'd go grab a little gift before you left. I, I don't need something like that at all. <laughs> don't treat me like I'm some starving stray or, or something. <laughs> You're still a cat. <laughs> no need to hold back, eat up. Oh, Sleen. So that's what the phrase, the cat's meow means. It's a really a huge fish, just what I expect from you, Kenneth. Seeing her like this makes her seem like a normal cat. I need mean, one with, an ex with especially next fur. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll need to worry about her being a familiar or whatever after all. They waited here for a few more moments as Selene devoured the entire fish and eventually returned to her senses. Yep. Um, I guess it's for us to be able to rest and recover some CPU. since I was last on a normal bike. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it from shaking too much. I'm a little on the full side. Oh, Celine. You'll never keep your figure if you keep up reading like that. D Shut up! I just lost myself for a minute, that's all. <laughs> Let's get you two back to Crossbell. Emma Celine, you two can ride in the sidecar. <laughs> Very well. Thank you. I shall take my usual spot. Yeah, but on our bike. Come on, Allie. They haven't seen each other in a long time, so don't get in their way, alright? Oh, is that how things like this are supposed to go? <laughs> Let's just get going, everyone. <laughs> it's a little salty about that. <laughs> so, you ramped up your search about half a year ago. Yes, I returned home and had my grandmother instruct me on the ancient arts. Vita had already mastered those same arts by the time she was 16. She was considered a true prodigy. 
but you never had her wild personality. You've never had a wild personality, but I think you managed just as well. Your magical ability should be about on par with Vita's now. <laughs> I'd certainly like that to be true. I'd say it is true with that spell you pulled earlier. And Selene, you stopped me from losing control. I just used a spell to calm your mana. Even if your mana being out of whack was most likely not the problem. It's just good that it worked. See? If you're losing control, then something grandmother taught me might help. But for now, at least, I think you have the right idea of not overusing it. Yeah, it'll be a last resort at most. I wish I understood better, but basically, you're not going to push yourself, right? Now I know why Allie always worries. <laughs> we do what we can to avoid being a hindrance, so don't be afraid to rely on us. <laughs> That's kind of you both, but I agree with them. Though by this point, you should know my opinion on the matter. <laughs> that I do. Alright, I'll need all three of you to have my back. <laughs> oh, you have such a good rapper with your student. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. They ran on par with the old class seven. Now, are we? I'd say we're still very green. And we still got some challenges up ahead. Elliot has his share too. Speaking of our old classmates, you've been talking to Elise and Maki's recently, right? <laughs> How did you know? It's painfully obvious, for one. Why else would they be talking about ways to help you? Celine, and that was supposed to be a secret. Our instructor is really lucky to have such great friends. <laughs> he would never have met them without being a part of Class 7. I understand the sentiment, even if I can't relate. I hope we can see both of them soon. By the way, Emma, what are you doing tonight? Huh? I instructor? What's the map? Just look at that. What? What is it? Is that a... Is that a railway gun? That looks like a railway gun. to have some stationed in Gorelia Fortress. Their power is terrifying. It's enough to wipe a city like Crossville off the map in, in half a day's time. Their size and design aren't the same as the ones we saw at the fortress, so they must be a newer model. Are they being set up along the border? Unbelievable. Just what is about to happen in this country? Tina's hair is just flowing, flowing around. Thank you for bringing us here. Yeah, thanks. No worries. So this is what you're missing, huh? Long Lao is an Eastern-style tavern and inn. Between the food and the inn, I have no complaints. Oh, um, I think you'll like it here. Thank you's food is amazing, and the rooms are nice and relaxing. Is that so? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I have my Arcus too, so please contact me if something comes up. I will do the same if I come across any information. <laughs> Got it, thank you. Bye now, don't push yourself too hard. Let's go back to camp. Yeah, I'm really tired. 
physically as well as mentally. Yeah. Why are you all staring at me? I mean, a lot of things like the railway cannons have really have me worried. I'm not from Crossbell, but I can still see how serious things are becoming. Let's get back and organize our report so we can pinpoint the problem areas. Kurt, Allie. Oh, good. Here. You picked up. Where are you right now, Reen? Are you done with your special ops missions? Yeah, we just got back to the towel. Did you call about the roller ah, cannons? So you saw them too? I do want to talk about that. But there's another matter that needs our attention first. Can you come back to the camp ASAP? That's the plan. Excuse me, what is this uh, matter? Oh. Hello, Yuna. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. The branch campus just got a request from the Governor General. That's all. Huh? What kind of request? He asked us to go to the party at Orcus Tower tonight as part of the security detail. Also, that we greet Prince Oliver and Princess Alpin. Oh boy. Marina and the others returned to camp, showered, and changed into their spare uniforms. Leaving the camp, leaving the camps of early military police, the students and faculty all headed to the Governor General's office, Orcus Tower. Oh, they send a street there. Mm -hmm. Or not. Hmm. Many influential individuals have gathered here at Orcus Tower tonight. However, we've confirmed that Speaker McDowell was not one of the people invited to the festivities. I worry the citizens of Crossbell won't take the news that their local representative has been snubbed like... Staff and students of Thor's branch campus, thank you for all your hard work. I will explain the particulars for the security at tonight's event, but first, allow me to introduce the people for which you'll be providing security. Peel Governor Paul Raymond. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm responsible for overseeing the well-being of Heimdall. My name is Carl Regnitz. Leaves is a part of the capital suburbs. 
It's unfortunate we haven't met before, but this is a good opportunity for us to become acquainted. Her. Irina Reinfurt, nice to meet you. I suppose we've been indirectly working with each other via your use of the Arcus II's, the Derflinger, and the Panzer Soldats. I've read your reports, so I have high expectations for each of you. Governor Regnance is a sworn ally of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. She's Elisa's mother. I remember Grandpa mentioning her before. These guests, on the other hand, should require no introduction. My thing is with Alfin. Jesus Christ, she's grown in such a short span of time. It's so nice to meet all of you from the Branch Campus. Though, to be fair, I don't... No, it's not been that long. <laughs> I am the princess of the Empire of Erebonia, Alfin Rice Arner. I wish we could have met before, but I'm glad to finally have the opportunity. Huh? I'm sure it's due to Adios' guidance that we were able to meet tonight. I am none other than Oliver Rice Arner, though some have taken to referring to me as the debaucherous prince. I am here as head of the inspection team, though as it's simply for show, it may be more accurate to call me a figurehead. However, truth be told, I actually have a small connection with all of you. Up until last year, I was the chairman of the board at Thor's main campus. And coincidences abound, for the three here with me comprise the entire board of directors. I'm sure it's a bit late by this point, but I'd like to welcome you to Thor's. Even in these turbulent times, I wish for each and every one of you to enjoy your youth to its fullest and become the foundation of the world. As I explained earlier, we will be on standby on floor 34, one floor below the event. Let me make this clear. We are here strictly as backup. Do not do anything rash. Now, move out. Line up and follow me. Jeez, the school's got some serious connections. The prince mentioned it to me back during the trade conference, but seeing them all reminds me of my time at the main campus. Yeah, it really takes me back. I remember them all dancing by the bonfire after the school festival. I can't even picture that. <laughs> Thank you all for your assistance here. Ah. Oh, Governor General. You seem to be enjoying your life as an instructor at the branch campus. Seeing them makes me proud to have been the one to nominate you, First Lieutenant Orlando. Nominated by the Governor General? I see. <laughs> For a nomination, it sure sounded pretty mandatory. Anyway, did you need something from me? Or did you come here to tell me what you're going to do with them? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. To be honest, I came here to speak with Reen. Huh? Join me on floor 36. It's reserved for VIPs. I was able to set up a small window of time during the dinner party to speak with some of the guests. Bring the new Class 7 and Cadet Russell with you. I'd like them to be here there as well. Tito? Tito? 
Huh. What are you up to? Hmm. This is floor 36, the VIP floor. Governor Ragnitz and Chairman Ryan Ford are in the second room ahead. His Highness, Prince Oliver, and Her Highness, Princess Alphen are in the farthest room. Please speak with the security guards before entering. Understood. Thank you for your help. No, I'm getting kind of nervous. Isn't it a bit too much for us to just go up and have a chat with the royals of the Empire? Well, they said they wanted to talk with the new Class 7. As for you, Tita, Prince Oliver and Chairman Arona requested to meet with you. <laughs> it's been quite some while since I've spoken with the Prince. I'm excited to see him again. It will be my first time meeting at least his mother, though. With the expectation of the Ryanforth Chairman, I'm acquainted with all of them, with the exception. I am acquainted with the Imperial family as well. No need to be formal, just act the way you always do. Easy for you to say. I'm not acquainted with any of these mega VIPs. <laughs> well, now's a good opportunity to get to know them. Let's go to the Governor General and Chairman Arena's room first. As nice as that would be, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode here. Because it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> And I actually do have some stuff I need to do tonight. So, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. If you liked this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.